Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Michigan Speedway for the Michigan 80. This is going to be race number 14 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with almost to halfway right now, we have a change at the top of the points. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the 49 of Jetman. Second will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fourth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 799 of Mike Check. Eighth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. And rounding out your top 10, the 203 of Signs. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. MBR leads the way with Douche Motorsports second, Ace of Zed Motorsports third, Amish Buggy Racing fourth, and the Drop, Dare, Drop Bear Racing Team fifth. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points situation as we go into race number 14 here in the More Freedom Series Season 4. They're getting these cars dialed in. The fans are already starting to pile into the track. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Michigan 80. Starting on the pole will be the 29, a wishbone attack. And on his outside, the 07, a douche baggins. Starting third will be the 23 of Fuller Than You, and on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting fifth will be the three of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Starting seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brenna, and on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone, and on his outside, rounding out the top 10, will be the 20 of Adam B5000. So your points leader of the 49 of Jetman is starting way back in 28th here today. But his teammate, the 29 of Wishbone Attack, will be starting on the pole. Lena's down for that green flag. A couple of douche motorsports drivers on the outside line there, the 07 and the 329. A couple of Michigan drivers, the 23 and the 3, starting there behind him. Ace of the Zed with a good representation right now. Three of the top ten here today. But the uh, couple douche motorsports here and there. A couple Amish buggy racing cars. So we've got a good mix up here at the front of the field. As a, another notable, the 544 Frederick Winklevom. Did I mention he is starting 22nd here today? So Wishbone Attack is leading us down to take the green flag. As the beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car ducks in, the green flag is out, and we are underway. Drag race into one and two. And towards the back stretch with the 07 and the 29, a wishbone attack. Wishbone to the bottom, the 07 to the top. Pushed along by his teammate, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. As we head towards three and four right now, High Line is going to be the preferred line here at Michigan. It's going to give him that little extra oomph and boost through the turn, just being able to stay on the gas like it did at Kentucky. So your leader on lap number one is the 07 of Douche Baggins. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. So DB leading the way with his teammate, the 329 of Heck of a Duber there right behind him. As two Aces to Zed Motorsports drivers running third and fourth right now, the, the 23 and the 420. Looks like that 20 of Adam B5000 trying to work to the outside of the pole sitter. The 29 of Wishbone Attack as he jumps down to the inside. Trying to get a good run through the tri-oval area here at Michigan. As they head into one and two, he is down to the bottom. Let's see if he slides up to the top near the 23 of Fuller than you. Fuller going to come down in front of him as we see the 20 of Adam B5000 working off the turn. DB still your leader right now. As these cars are starting to straighten out, but back here, currently running for the ninth and back is the 95 of Zed Brunna in that ninth position. Looking to take away. Ah, he did. He is firmly in the ninth position with the double zero now on the outside of that 10 of Scooter, followed along by the 96 of Nico here. As well as another douche motorsports driver, the 72 of Duchess to the outside of her teammate, the 203 of Signs, 
who just got back into the top 10 in points. As we saw uh, Duchess slide against the wall right there. Loses a little bit of speed through the turn as we see it three wide right now with the triple seven of Seabass, the three of Geek Girl Games, and for a moment, the 799 of Mike Check as the 95. As Zed Brenna ducks down to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check. Mike Check trying to work to the outside with the 20 of Adam B5000 and uh, the triple seven of Seabass as they work to the, try to get to the outside of that 23 of Fuller than you. Fuller a little bit slower as the 20 of Adam B5000 and the triple seven of Seabass trying to get down there underneath him, but it's going to take a huge line of cars down on that inside line to be able to get make those passes here today. Check in on your leader, the 07 of Douche Baggins for Douche Motorsports, car, uh, team owner here for Douche Motorsports at 07 and his beautiful ghost livery this season. Haven't talked much about DB this year, currently running 23rd in points. Uh, normally runs really well in the More Freedom Series, just a rough year this year. Could be that he's added, you know, a couple more drivers, a little bit more stress on him. Excuse me, this season in the More Freedom Series with his, and also his teammate right there behind him, the 329 of heck of a Duber. So Duber, who ran consistently last year, basically led the entire season until the last few races. Um, right now running in the second position. So Duber is looking to get back into his winning championship all championship form even though he didn't win the championship last year he's trying to get back into that form here today it was a very close battle between himself g3 and nico last season as it was down to the very last race who pulled out that win and just happened to be g3 was your winner last season as we're currently working lap number seven here of 40 in the Michigan 80. Uh, current fastest lap is going to be by the 20 of Adam B5000 at 207.636 miles per hour. As we see G3 now maybe working to the outside of the 20 or of the triple seven. Uh, she's going to work down to the inside of that triple seven as it pushes him high. Trying to see what she's going to do here, but with the 29 and the 20. Fall back in line behind him, it looks like, as the 29, a wishbone attack off the turn. Going to lose that position. Looks like to the triple seven of Seabass. So Seabass up to the sixth position right now. Checking in on your leader. 329 of Heck of a Duber currently playing running block for... His car owner, the 07 of Douche Baggins, in front of those Aces to Zed Motorsports cars, the 420 and the 23. Slide back through this field as we see the 96 of Nico trying to work to the inside of the 95 of Zed Brunna. Let's off a little bit through the turn. He was, I think he was hoping for a little bit of a draft by the double zero and the 72, but they went to the inside there. Scooter's going to go with him, though, as he heads to the outside. This is a battle on the track for the 11th position with the 96 holding that spot. Looks like Scooter's going to take away the 12th position right there as it's 3 wide with the 72, the 20, and the 10. And we're going to see what the 40 and the 49 do here on this lap as they are stuck in there behind that 72 of Duchess. Vet and Jetman. Jetman is going to slide high through the turn. He is going to try to work to the outside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Again, the 49 of Jetman is your points leader here. He is currently in front of second in place in points. The, the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum, who runs 21st on the track right now. We're going to see if he goes with Duchess here, if he's going to try the outside on the 72 as well. He's going to try a run down the back stretch. That 40 of Veteran Chaos having none of it. The 88 of NM going to think about going with him here as they head into the turn. The 203 of Signs might stack it up there on the bottom as well. Inching ever closer to pit stops here as I think our pit stop range will be 13 to 20 laps.
uh, depending on where you are and how much fuel you've used. As we see the 329 of Heck of a Duber trying to get a little bit, it was getting a little bit of a challenge by the 420 of Queen of Hearts, which could have allowed him to work to the outside of the 07 of Douche Baggins there. So DB led has led all the way here today. Now all 13 laps of the race as we inch closer to halfway. As we see G3 either, no, nah, she was trying that inside line on the 29 of Wishman attack. And I think as the race goes on, possibly that inside line might come in. But as of right now, early on, but before halfway, the inside line just isn't there for anyone. As it looks like G3 is peeling off here as well as the 07 of Douchebag. And so that's going to put the 420 at Queen of Hearts into the lead. So Queen of Hearts takes over the lead here as she battles with the 777 of Seabass. Allowing the 20 of Adam B5000 to close in a little bit. We're going to see if Queen goes into the pits here as this is currently working lap number 15. It looks like they might be off the gas heading towards the pits here. They are into the pits. Scooter is going to take over the lead. He's going to get those very important five bonus points here in the More Freedom Series. Scooter currently runs 29th in points here this season. Again, he is a rookie driving for score racing. And, uh, you know, so learning the ropes in the More Freedom Series, staying out, getting that bonus point every, you know, at the end of the season. Again, everything helps. So, and, and, you know, building towards the next season when he's not a rookie and, you know, maybe just everything's new. You know what I mean? So it looks like Scooter was the last person to pit here today as he works down pit row. We're going to see what his pit crew for score racing does. As you see the 07 and the 329, which that's probably going to be a battle for the lead. We're going to watch this battle as they go into one and two. As the 07 and the 329 battle it out here, it looks like the 329 is going to win this battle. So Duber probably going to take over the lead at the end of these pit stops. But I, I don't know. The 420 and the 777 have an amazing pit stop, and that's going to let them out in front. But the 329 of heck of a Duber with a heck of a run. On that triple seven of Seabass, Seabass comes down, sort of closes the door on him right there. Scooter coming out of the pits. He is the last person to stop. Working down, and he is going to get blown past right there by all the leaders. He's coming out in front of the 20 and the 799. Down the break stretch into three and four. The 25 and the 96 going to make it around. He gets that car wound back up here. We will check out your points or your leaders in just a moment as I believe that is going to be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So your leader as of right now is the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Second place is the 777 of Seabass. Third is going to be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins as he looks like he clips the wall there. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B. 5000. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 25 of JTM who started 30th here today. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 211 of Hogs. No, no, I'm sorry. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games, and rounding out the top ten will be the 211 of Hogs as the, whew, this 10 of Scooter almost into it with the 72 of Duchess. So Hogs slid up in front of the 10 as the 72 was trying to get down underneath the 10, almost made contact. And you can see there was inches between the 10 and the 72 right there. 
Check back up here at the front of the field. So the triple seven of Seabass had with those with that fantastic pit stop, as well as the 420 of Queen of Hearts, both having amazing pit stops here today. They have put their vehicles for Aces to Zed and Amish Buggy out to the point with that 420 of Queen of Hearts leading the way. Queen of Hearts currently running in the 12th position in points with the triple seven of Seabass, who uh, you know his story. He is just working. He's been working very hard as the owner of Amish Buggy Racing and has just had a rough go for the last couple years and is still putting in work. Is that triple seven of Seabass? And we're hoping, I mean, as much as anybody else, I'm hoping for a good run for the triple seven of Seabass and see what he can do here at Michigan as we see the 07 of Douche Baggins working around, worked around the outside of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So I'm guessing we're going to get one more pit stop here today, possibly. Scooter stopped very late, so he was... I think he stopped on lap 15, possibly. He actually stopped less than one after lap 15. So he might get a couple laps in. He might be able to make it to the end. Not sure yet. Yeah, only time will tell. As we currently have 18 laps to go, your leader at halfway was that 420 at Queen of Hearts. DB trying to work to the inside of the 777 of Seabass. Nothing doing there as we see the 25, the 329, and the 20 lining up down there at the bottom underneath the underneath that 07. We're going to see if the 25, the 20, and the 799, and the 96 can push their way around on the inside. As the 20 of Adam B5000 working underneath the 20 of 25 of JTM, JTM to the high side. Adam to the low side, Duber to the low side. We're going to see if JTM can take advantage here and possibly catch up to the 329. Mike check going to run around the outside of the 20. So Adam falls back a spot as now G3 to the outside of the 96 of Nico. So G3 battling right now for the eighth position with the 96. And the 211, so G3 going to take away the eighth position as the 211 of Hogs working on top of the 10 of Scooter. We'll see if Hogs can get a good run off the turn down the back stretch. As we see now, the 25 to the outside of the 329. So it looks like the 25 is going to go with the 777 of Seabass here. And the 799 of Mike Check also going with that 25. So we got the three cars lined up at the top above the two Douche Motorsports cars, the 799, the, the 25, and the 20. Again, the 20 of Adam B5000, single car team here again this year He is for Elliott Motorsports as Mike Check basically just gives a little bit of the chrome horn to the 25 at JTM down the, how to turn, turn two down the back stretch. Heading into three and four, the 25 at the top, and it looks like Mike Check is going to be able to pull off a pass at the bottom of the track. If you, uh, amazing, amazing job by that 799 of Mike Check with a fantastic pass. Alpha turn two down the back stretch, able to pull off the pass here today on the low line. So it looks like that Thirsty Camel Bottle Shops. 799 FM race car for the Drop Bear Racing Team is hooked up, but the 25 of JTM says, I'm going to try it on the outside here on that 799 of Mike Check, and we're going to see if we can pull this Sonic do Dodge for MBR around him. As they head into one and two, the 20 of Adam B5000 with a fantastic run, making it three wide again. JTM, we're going to see what he does as he's got... The 799 of Mike Check sandwiched right there with a 20 of Adam B5000. JTM around the outside. So he's able to make that pass on the 799 of Mike Check as Queen of Hearts 
still leads the way here today with about 12 laps to go. I think we will see pit stops before the end of this race as we're closing in to where the 07 had to pit. Not seeing, possibly not seeing any cars in the pits as of yet. But your leader is at 420 as the 799 of Mike Check is trying that pass again on the 25. He isn't able to make it. It looks like those cars are coming in. So Mike Check is, no, the 25 is in. So your leader is still at 420 at Queen of Hearts. Mike Check's going to take over the third position. So the 25 of JTM, this is his. This is his, the pit crew for MBR. This is their time to shine as the 25 is coming into the pits. He is basically going to be out there in front, I think, in front of everybody because I think he was the first car to pit. So a good pit stop, a good exit lap, and he could come out in the lead as we see the 420 slowing down here. And we're going to see that 10 of Scooter take back over the lead, but we're going to watch the 420 of Queen of Hearts as she leads down the partially rest of this field down the front stretch here on the pit road. And we're going to see if this is going to be a four tire, two tire, what kind of fuel she's putting in. See what kind of strategy that Aces to Zed has cooked up their sleeve here today. We always know that they have some good strategies here in the More Freedom Series as we see right side tires going on for that 420 at Queen of Hearts. She is down looks like it is going to be two tires and fuel for the 420 of queen of hearts she is down and away out there in front of the triple seven of sea bass and the 799 of mike check so we're gonna see if that strategy pays off here today for the 420 at queen of hearts she is two tires fuel down and away and we're gonna see what happens Looks like the rest of the field is probably in here. So Scooter is down and away. Probably two tires and fuel for him as well. Watch him as he comes out of the pits. And if he can get a great pit stop and then get in and out and all of that, he might be able to pull off the lead here as the 72 of Duchess has the hammer down. So watching as they're working down the back stretch. Not quite sure where everybody's going to shake up here. As everybody's coming out of the pits, we're going to try to catch back up to Scooter as we see. And Scooter might be, or I don't know. We're about to find out once everything cycles through and I believe that Scooter has retained the lead after his pit stops we're going to wait for another lap here to make sure that that is indeed the case but it looks like that is the case here that the 10 of Scooter with seven laps to go has retained his lead after those pit stops. So score racing with an amazing pitch strategy here today has gone basically four extra laps uh, than the field. And with those four extra laps has been able to get himself out in front of the rest of this field. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 10 of Scooter. Second is going to be the 72 of Duchess. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 777 of Seabass. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eighth will be the 211 of Hogs. And rounding out, or ninth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Rounding out shot 10 will be the 300 of Resemble. So Resemble, who had been in the top 10 for quite a bit this season, back up to number 10 on the track currently running 11th in points your points lead of the 49 to Jetman currently shown um, 13th right now 
We're going to see if the 72 and the 420 with just four laps to go can get in a draft situation here and start making some time up on the 10 of Scooter. So Scooter currently resides two and a half seconds up front of Duchess and Queen of Hearts and JTM. So I can't say it enough that the pit stop and the outlap and everything for this number 10, uh, fantastic here today, has put himself in the position to win this race up by two and a half seconds with basically three laps remaining right now. And he is pulling off some incredible laps out here by himself. I don't know what adjustments they've made to that car, but he is running 201 mile an hour out here. No draft by himself here at Michigan. As we see the 72 of Duchess just keeping her lead right there in front of the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Looks like Queen, you know, honestly, like with a two tire stop, that, I, that could be the biggest deciding factor, you know, like you're just not going to have the tires to make it around, make, make that push to the front. And with only two good tires, you're not going to be able to make that, that you're just not going to get that speed that you need to make the push up to try to catch up to Scooter with just a couple laps to go here. Crossing the line one more time is at 10. Of Scooter in the for score racing and the Coors Light Chevy. About one and a half laps to go for your leader of the 10 of Scooter. As he comes down to take the white flag, we'll check out second and third and fourth position as they're kind of lined up here, nose to tail. I think they're doing everything they could to try to catch up to this 10 as he comes around onto the front stretch. White flag is out. One more lap to go for your leader, that 10 of Scooter. Down into one and two for the final time. Your leader is Scooter. And he is looking for his first win here in the More Freedom Series of his career as, again, he is a rookie. He's had a few good runs here this season, just not able to pull off the win. I don't think he's won out. Yeah, I don't think he's won yet. Now to three and four for the final time. Bring it down to the trekking flag. Your winner here today is the 10 of Scooter. Second's going to go to that 72 of Duchess, it looks like. So basically everybody lining up. Looks like uh, JTM going to lose a spot to the 211 right there at the line. No, no, he lost a spot to the triple seven of Seabass right there at the line. So let's go through your finishing or your finishing top 10 here today. Your winner again is the 10 of Scooter. Second's going to be the 72 of Duchess. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the triple seven of Seabass. Fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Sixth will be the 211 of Hogs. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 300 of Resemble. Fantastic race here today at Michigan. Next week, we go to, oh, we go to the Tricky Triangle. We're headed to Pocono for the Pocono 80. So that should be an interesting race next week. Let's check in on your current points as the 49 of Jetman able to finish 12th here today. So we're going to see if anybody made up any spots on him. We're going to, you're seeing your points here on the screen. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings and see what those look like. So again, congratulations to the Tent of Scooter. He is your winner here today for this Michigan 80. Fantastic pit strategy, fantastic pit mileage for that score racing Chevy. And we're going to hear some squawking tonight from as they celebrate with the Coors Light here at Michigan. And until next week at Pocono, take care.